being on the river, we were very conscious of its problems because we, if we fell in, we had to be showered down completely. Uh, my husband fell in at one point when he was rowing as a youth and his skin broke out all over him and he had to go to the, a doctor and have special shots. When I was growing up, it was common to see large blocks of foam floating down the Maumee River, some as big as Volkswagens. There are folks here who still remember the days when you had something you wanted to get rid of, the best place to take it might be down to the river and just throw it in, and out of sight, out of mind, uh, somebody else's problem. In the 1960s, Lake Erie was declared dead. Rivers were highly polluted. In response, the Junior League of Toledo produced a film titled Fate of a River, Apathy or Action. It uh, was shown to the press and to a lot of civic leaders all over who came to see it because people were interested. They, w they knew that the river was in trouble and needed something done to it. And it was shown by volunteers as many times as they could show it in a day to anybody who wanted to see it. Service clubs, bridge clubs, garden clubs, it had been shown to about 70,000 people, which was a tremendous amount in that day and age. And those people were really moved to action. The fate of our rivers is in our hands. All hinges upon our apathy, for our action. The Junior League members who produced Fate of a River eventually testified at state and federal water quality hearings that led to the Clean Water Act. The environmental movement in the early 1970s raised awareness that the earth is a limited resource. People started to see the world in a whole new way. Pollution flowed downstream, but it didn't disappear. One community's problems were not isolated by state and county borders.